What is the nicest compliment you have ever received? I lost my dad when I was in high school and a friend's mother wrote a condolence card that said I never knew your dad, but I do know the young man that he raised, and because of that I know what an amazing father he was. I got a lot of condolence cards around that time and that is the only one I remember. Edit. Thanks for the kind words everyone. It was almost 20 years ago, so it doesn't hurt quite so much anymore. We will all lose our parents someday, unless they lose us first, and those are the real tragedies. I never know what to write in cards like this. To make them feel better, rather than more sad. This is a good way to compliment you, and respect your father as well. A older friend of mine told me his daughter, teen, had a crush on me, not a teen, and said he was glad, because that meant she had good taste, and would find a good man, when she grew up. I still think about it, because although I was slightly uncomfortable I knew that must have been even harder for him to say which to me made it that much more meaningful. Actually I have two that are dear to me. The first was from a friend who had died way too young who told me that when he writes the book of his life, I would have my own chapter. The next was from a coworker who was ex-army that told me he would follow me into battle. My fian told me she would wipe my ear if it came to it after being diagnosed with manuscript. Not sure it counts as a compliment but that's love right there haha. <laughs> my wife and I were friends with an elderly couple. She had severe manuscript. Her husband would help her eat. One time he wasn't there and she stated she was hungry and my wife helped her eat. Later I was talking to her husband and he said my wife and he are the only two people his wife would ever let help her to eat. This speaks volumes of the type of person my late wife was. This was when I might have been 8 to 9 years old. I used to do well in trivia and quizzing. Not insanely good just good enough for people to notice. In our school sometimes, if a teacher was absent a different teacher used to fill in their classes and these periods would be self-study or something boring. One of the teachers who knew about me used to call me to the front of the class and frequently ask me to be the quiz master and organize a mini trivia contest as an activity for that period. I usually had some references books from where I used to source the questions. One day she asked me to host the trivia competition for my classmates, but I told her that I didn't have the book with me that day. In reply she told me that I should be fine because at that point I would know more than that silly trivia book anyway. The confidence boost, that one single line of random praise that I got that day still helps me tackle life's problems one at a time. I can essentially trace my confidence in my abilities too. That one sentence uttered by my teacher. I'm eternally thankful to her words from that day. Seven years ago I was heading into the office to a job I hated and stopped at McDonald's on the way. I pulled up to the first window to pay and after the young kid gave me my card back before he closed the window. He said you're so pretty with a high voice and so much energy and closed the window with a huge smile on his face. That was when I was at my heaviest, nearing 300 pounds, and at one of the worst stages of my life physically, mentally, and emotionally. I bawled my eyes out the entire ride to work after that. I'll never forget him, and how he made me feel. Huge respect to the kid for realizing you were having a bad day, and needed so cheering up. Also hope you are in a better place now. Probably not the nicest, but one of the most memorable. I used to work as a runner for a delivery company, someone who helps drivers deliver stuff by doesn't actually drive. If I was ever working with drivers I disliked, I would intentionally talk to them less and try and load the truck a lot faster than normal. If I liked the driver, we would go slower and have a lot more banter. On my last day a driver I disliked came up to me in front of the boss and said she's really fast and efficient. I'm going to miss working with her. This made me realize that I spent way too much time getting frustrated at people who genuinely appreciated my help. One time when I was talking with a girl that I liked, she told me I have a soothing voice. I normally have trouble accepting compliments and actually believing them about myself. But that one kind of stuck with me. Not necessarily the nicest, but my dad once told me that I was cursed with a kind heart. Was told I smelled good by four people. Even though I hadn't taken a shower or put deodorant in two days. That I was the most emotionally intelligent person they know. 
by two different people on two separate occasions. I hold this closely to my heart. I've been called a good father and husband by complete strangers a few times. Makes me happy every time. When the first thing someone says after they taste something you made isn't a word. But like in a good sense lol. Thanks for coming. You always brighten the room. My friend when I came to her dinner party. After ice skating together, a girl looked me in the eyes and Ed seriously asked, Is there anything you're not good at? That one still keeps me going. Edit. Nah. Sorry Yao. We ended up becoming good friends during college, but unfortunately that is where the story ends. She ended up marrying a cowboy from Nebraska no cap. You have strong veins from a nurse when I was donating blood. I'm very patient and usually overly optimistic. I tend to think the best of others and the worst of myself. In a morning status call recently, a cowalker announced that she was going to try to be more bubbly and patient. Like farts underscore and underscore darts. A couple of cowalkers agreed that they'd try and do the same and that everyone should try and emulate me a little bit. Typing this out, it sounds like some s you'd see on slash r slash thathapant. But it actually did happen. Nobody clapped. I wish I had been recording the call. It was a huge boost to my mood and self esteem and honestly one of the best, if not the best, compliments I've ever received. Nicest compliment came from a little girl. She told me I had pretty hair. Which is not anything special. But about 10 years on. And I still remember this little girl I didn't know. Having the confidence to give a stranger a compliment. I dunno. It stuck with me, because she was so sweet. I was tutoring at an elementary school, and this 7 year old kid said I looked cool. I don't know why. I normally blow off compliments. But the way this kid said it made me actually feel like someone worth looking up to. One of my ex-girlfriends told me that my pee is adorable. Once my management team gave me the best compliment, and they didn't even know it. This was when I was a waitress at a county club years ago. Often we served large parties, like weddings, political meet and greets, Christmas parties of the century, that sort of thing. Every time the huddle before service would be something like, be sure to smile and g-o-o-o-o-o team. Yay. This is so not my personality. I'm not perky. I'm not a cheerleader. I do not smile for just the hell of it. I however do the best damn job I can. I'm polite. Genuine. And courteous. While I was respected for doing a great job I was never the perfect culture fit for them. One day though, we had a party of 30 ppl. A family just needing a hot meal after the funeral of a young mother who died unexpectedly. My management team put me in charge of serving this party and managing the support staff for it. They noted that they needed someone calm, peaceful, and respectful to get everyone through the night. To be attentive but to give people their space. This is the type of thing I was made for. At last my personality was a benefit, rather than seen as something that had to be altered. One time a puppy came over to me. The owner then told me they don't typically like humans. Made my entire day. Any time I think about it I can't help but feel good about myself. My friend was on probation and I always went with her to her check-ins to do drug tests and her probation officer said to me, if more people had friends like you, we'd have less people in this office. You changed my outlook on life. It meant a lot knowing I had inspired my friend in some way. My friend's mum once told me I had beautiful cheekbones. This stuck with me bc I was struggling with my weight at the time and had a very round face. So it felt amazing. That someone saw any structure under what I was perceiving as an ocean of fat. Fast forward 4 years, and I'm eating much healthier. I've lost a lot of weight. And I really love my face. Thanks for the kickstart. Francine. My art teacher in high school said he was proud of me. Best goddamn thing anyone's ever said to me. You have a sweet spirit. The person who runs my division at head office told my branch manager that if there were one of me in every branch, he would never have to worry about anything. I've also been approached by two different customers to quit my job and go work for them. The second one was hilarious. She wanted me to go to northern Alberta and work for her and her husband in the oil patch. 
She had drug dogs, and basically I would use them to search rigs. I politely declined. My friends and I laughed so hard about this, because I'm a stoner who is allergic to dogs. X told me a year after we broke up that I was one of the best people she knew. But the best compliment ever is my wife choosing to be married to me. I trust your judgment more than anyone else I know. About 5 years ago, I was visiting a friend that had a different friend and his daughters, both between 6 to 8 yo, over, when I walked up and greeted everyone I made sure to greet the girls, because they are people too, yeah no, my friend and their dad, both tell them to go inside while they take care of the lawn, I tell the guys I'll wait on the porch for them to finish, one of the girls says, no dad we wanna go with la lana babe, the other agrees and repeats it, then they both grabbed my one of my hands, their dad told them to ask me, and they actually did ask, they then proceed to chill on the porch with me, and show me their songs, tried to braid my hair, and watched youtube videos and whatnot. I never saw them again, but I see their dad around and always ask about them, they were the sweetest, I hope they were able to hold on to that innocence touched my heart because kids are honest each of your failed relationships has hopefully taught you a lesson for the one that will someday matter most you have a depth to you that you don't know what to do with or where it should go when you find a home for it someday you'll know you're in the right place and setting a teacher from high school on a paper i'd wrote for psychology it gives me hope and confidence that i'm headed in the right direction and it's one of my reasons to stay alive I'm a single dad and very close to my teenage daughter. Daughter and her mom have been having some serious struggles recently, and a couple nights ago after a bit of a blowout my daughter says I'm a great dad, and she's grateful for me every day. Anything anyone else could ever say is pale in comparison to that. English teacher telling me I have a knack for writing poems with good rhythm. Some girl telling me my hair is nice, because I actually bothered to do it. I'm a handsome guy, means a lot when I have self esteem issues. That I was the purest person I know, this was said by my HS crush unfortunately, that friendship didn't last much longer, when a friend spilled the beans to her about the crush on grad night the next month. An old co-worker told me I was the most Canadian Canadian I've ever met, and she was Canadian. I was at my cousin's, F. Wedding and I had just spent the 4th of July with the groom and his family and specifically his mother, because my car broke down near their city. She's just the nicest most caring woman. So fast forward a month to the wedding, where I see her, and go to give her a hug. She hugs me back accompanied with loving words. Oh you beautiful soul. How great to see you. ETC. My aunt, bride's mom, comes over and asks how, do you know each other? To which I reply, are you kidding? Me and her are basically best friends. To which she, groom's mom, says, I had the pleasure of meeting this tall, handsome glass of chocolate milk on the 4th of July, boom. Best compliment ever. Who doesn't love chocolate milk? My girlfriend's 6 year old said I was the nicest man he knows. That's made my year so far. The first year I lived in a new state, after moving across the country, I put up Christmas lights. It was warm the week before Thanksgiving, so I took advantage and got them up early. My neighbor who I did not know very well texted me a video on Thanksgiving day. It was of her and her husband at the dinner table asking their toddler what she was thankful for. This child, who can barely speak, says Carson's lights I'm Carson. Every year since then. I've gone bigger and better with my display, and this last year she faithfully dragged her parents out every single evening to stand in or on my porch for 5 or 10 minutes. That little girl makes me wanna be a better person. You're a nice asshole. I told I needed to lose 6 kilograms. The girl told me I was pretty the way I was. Didn't need to lose weight. It was 2 weeks ago, and even now it makes me smile. You are powerfully cute. An African guy I worked with told me you make my heart happy. One time I was at a restaurant with a bunch of friends. Way back before all this pandemic isolation, I miss those days. I had been talking a bunch I guess, and this young woman, bless her wonderful heart, 
makes her way over to our table. I promise I wasn't trying to listen in or anything but sir, you have just an incredible voice. Do you do podcasting or anything? Because you should. I would listen. You seem like you have good things to say. It was so out of the blue. And touched me deeply. See. I'm a trans gentleman. And was early I shone in my transition. And at that point my voice had only recently dropped. Up until that point I had been deeply uncomfortable with my voice. But once it decided to drop it dropped like a rock. And I wound up blessed with the rich baritone of my dreams. This young woman took time. To go out of her way to give such a glowing compliment to a stranger and just happened to touch on something so deeply meaningful to me i think about her often and always hope that she's well she'll never know just how much her kindness meant to me but i hope that karma is being incredible to her for it edit corrected a couple typists also whoever gave this comment an award thank you what a nice surprise that was to find That I bring out the best in people. I've had friends tell me I'm their blunt friend. And I love it. Because they always come to me for advice. And they know I will always tell them what I fully think. It means they trust me. Wow. You don't mess around. A member of my team. When I laid out a strategy. Of what I needed them to do to deal with a very difficult problem. Wherein we not simply solved it adequately. But ground it up into a fine powder with extreme prejudice. She said she could feel my smile, like sunrise on a winter morning. When I attended my graduation to receive my PhD, an elderly woman I had never met before approached me after the ceremony and asked if she could have her picture taken with me because she thought I was going to be famous one day. We had a brief chat afterwards and she told me she genuinely believed that the work I did was going to improve people's treatment in the future. I found out later when she emailed me the pictures she was a cancer survivor herself. Close bracket. That I'm underrated. An Indian said that unlike most white people, I don't smell like a wet dog. I've always been really insecure because I have a deep voice for a female. But a mutual friend told me it was relaxing. I honestly think it fixed the insecurity and I've learned to love my voice. Nothing wrong with having a deep voice. That I look good. Not my mom or dad FYI. My niece told me I smell like golden bubbles. About 7 years ago. A close friend of mine from high school was killed in a hit and run that really shook our town. He was one of those 1 in a million people who was genuine. Funny kind and truly beloved by literally everyone who ever met him. And he seemed indestructible I was not nearly as gregarious as he was an. Though I knew I wasn't one of his best friends. He was one of mine, and that was okay. He was older and very popular. And I often felt imposter syndrome hanging out with him because of it. I was having a really hard time with his passing, and was talking to a mutual friend. And broke down thinking slash talking about how he didn't deserve to die. I told the friend that I just wanted to be a person who would make David proud. And the mutual friend stated, you already are you are already everything he would want you to be. And more. I don't know that he knew how much that meant to me. But it's something I often draw on when I feel sad, insecure or inferior. Dave was such a self-assured person. That he wouldn't have wasted his time being friends with me if I wasn't deserving of his friendship that simple realization went a long way in building my self confidence and helping me overcome the worst of my depression. At a wedding, I had my share of drinks, got to the dancer floor and had some fun. Two little girls, say ages 7 and 5, enjoyed the dancing and I taught them every bad dance move I know from the lawnmower to the sprinkler. At the end of the night. They came up to me, and each presented a rose petal, and said I was a good dancer. It was both the sweetest and most pathetic gesture I've ever seen. And I will always remember it. Either that, or when my ex said I had a nice butt. Random stranger ordered from me at a bar, and told me I like your lip piercings then asked how many I had. I showed him my ears, and he said they really suit you. This was when I was feeling really down about them, after getting my lip pierced and it still makes me smile 2 years later. The nicest compliment that my mother ever gave me was that I'm not ugly. I can see all that she saw in you. 
A girl from high school once said I looked like an elf from LOTR. It's been about 7 years since then, and I still think about it sometimes, when I'm feeling down on myself. Some random woman at the park told me that I have a really cute smile. Something I'm quite insecure about, but I took that compliment to heart and almost cried. A girl during high school told me I was a big example of joy. It made me feel good about myself. That I'm doing something right. You look good in those crocs. <laughs>